What's up guys, Stan here from Rocky Creek. So I just got home from work a little bit ago. There's a chance of some overcast weather. We might get a little bit of rain, but I'm gonna try to get in this big gender reveal of the baby bunnies. So let's see if we can get it done and let's see what they might end up being. Let's go. All right guys, so there's a couple ways that I've read that you can kind of gauge what the um, sex is of a rabbit, whether it's a, it's a male or female, boy or girl. Um, but there's one way that I read a lot of, I really didn't see this on a video, but I did some reading when I had that surprise litter initially. Um, and I read about kind of how you could, kind of the telltale sign, but you gotta wait till they get a certain age. So, but we're gonna go through each one. Hopefully we can get the angle to where you can see it and we'll be able to see what each one is, hopefully so. Let's see if we can get a good shot of it. All right, so I got here vanilla. Um, and one thing I always try to do with any of the rabbits before I check them is I try to hold them for a little bit because they are an animal of prey. So they're naturally scared, especially when they're up high. They don't like being up high. So I try to get them calmed down a little bit before I check them because it is a pretty scary thing because they don't know what I'm trying to do with them. So let's go ahead and try to check vanilla and try to figure out what vanilla is. So we get right here to tail and just in front and you'll see kind of this pinkish area and you push that down and you kind of get this part that, that protrudes out. And if you notice, it's circular with a dot in the middle of it. That circular one with the dot, that indicates to me that this is most likely a boy. Um, so most likely vanilla is gonna be a boy. If it was a girl, there'd be more of a slit that goes down at the bottom um, and it wouldn't be a full circle. So this makes me believe that this one is gonna be a boy. All right, so this one and the other one that are very similar color, I used to be able to tell them apart because one was a lot bigger than the other. But as I've gotten a little bit older, I can't tell apart. We'll try to give this one a peek. These two, for whatever reason, seem to be more skittish, so they might be a little more difficult to, to control and get them to cooperate. All right, there we go. So this one is definitely a girl, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that is 100% a girl. That is straight up a line, and that is 100% a girl right there. There's no circle whatsoever, and it's just a line that goes down. Okay, so this one right here is my daughter's favorite. This is chocolate. So same thing, trying to get them calmed. He's kind of checking it out. Let's try to see what we can figure out with this one. Hopefully they'll cooperate as well. So I try to secure his upper body, get his foot, and I separate the fur till I see this little bit of pink. And then once I get that pink, I push down and put pressure. This one's a little more difficult, but based off of what I'm seeing here, to me that's more round with a dot in the middle, and that's leading me to think that this one is going to be a boy as well. Let me see. All right, so this, she only had a litter of four, so this is the last one. This one is definitely, I'm pretty sure, the one that we called Big Daddy. When I grab, grabbed it, it's definitely a lot more heavier and feels thicker. So let's see if we can try to get a peek at this and hopefully they'll cooperate. All right, so this is gonna be a boy. It's hard to get the fur out the way, but you can see it's round with a more of a dot where the one before was more like a slit. So this one is gonna be a boy I'm very confident in. All right, guys, so I hope that helps you out with the uh, rabbits. Like I said, on my calendar, they're right at that age where I should be able to start to identify what are the boys and what are the girls. Last litter of rabbits we had, which was my first ever, we had seven of them. And using this method, I properly identified all seven of them. So I definitely suggest you trying this method. Now I will double check these guys in about a week because like I said on my calendar, they're right at that age where I should be able to start telling. Use this, try it out guys, it, it usually works successful. Just remember for a boy, it's usually gonna be a full circle with a dot. If it's a girl, there's gonna be just that little tiny slit that keeps that circle from being fully there. Guys, appreciate you hanging out. Real quick, I wanna give a good shout out. There was a channel, for whatever reason, the way the algorithm works on YouTube, 
I've not seen any of his content. It's not popping up for whatever reason. The man's got a good number of subscribers. I checked his channel out because he sent us a little bit of love, I guess through his link with Jason over at Cog Hill, and that's Naked Hog. Naked Hog, we appreciate it, man. I checked out your channel this week, and high energy, good content. I love what you're doing over there. We appreciate you. Guys, they got a good sunflower challenge going on with him, Jason, and a few other channels, so go check that out. Good friendly competition is always awesome to have. Guys, we appreciate every one of you. Thanks for hanging out with us today. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you here on the next video. Y'all be good.